Hello, Antonio. Okay, here we go. Polished out. No sharp edges. It's going to come with two wheels. This is a drift car wheel. I bought these just for this. And they're a little bit narrower. And uh, based on the way this is made, you can find a long screw or bolt and drill this hole a little bit larger and get a set of drift car wheels and have it a dual. Because I was trying to figure out how to make it a dual and I realized don't have to do nothing to it but use a longer bolt and put two wheels on it because you know, that's hard. So it's not going to grab much. So if you decide you just want to be showing off and running up wheelies, you can put the wheel where you need it to be to get the most out of what it is you're trying to do. So it's done. It's ready. It's going to solve three problems. First, you won't need a rear skid plate. You won't need a bumper. And you have a wheelie bar that ain't going to break every time it hits something. Okay? Because uh, my next thing is to figure out how to make this bracket out of aluminum so that I can incorporate it to this if somebody decides they want to make it static from here to here and then they'll just deal with the the bending and the flex because see this flexes this flexes a little bit and uh, yeah so you don't need a skid plate you don't need a bumper and you got an adjustable wheelie bar and if you where's those wheels at if you get a set of wheels then boom you know you put two on there instead of the one in the middle and uh, check your email because um, you know if you want then I'll add a pair of wheels instead of just one extra one so let me know and uh, you guys out here yeah this is made out of this now this particular alloy has a lot of flex to it and it will bend and the one on my unit, I've bent it 10 or 15 times and it hasn't broke, broken. And they're not hard to make. I got like 100 foot of this stuff in my welding shop because I used it to make security cages for gas stations to cover their vending machines and equipment when they lock up at night. Hinge and this and this and that in my fabrication shop. So being that I can't work anymore, um, I've got five or six thousand dollars worth of material that I got to find something to do with and um, I'm starting to get a whole lot of ideas pans and brackets and control arms I mean because I could basically cut a control arm out of this so I'm look what I'm looking at is a, a indexing table to uh, just have the you know cut them out so because all I really need is a photograph and a digitizer and that, that costs less than a car. So here we go, y'all. Here we go. Uh, here you go, bro. So check your email. Let me know. There you go. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.